Jaden Philogene gets more interest and Hull City look to add some more players in the upcoming summer transfer window. Well, hello there and welcome back to the Hull City Fan Central YouTube channel, where today I do have plenty of news for us to crack into, along with loads of big topics as we look to summer transfer window. Yes, it may be a few months down the line, but Hull City have already planted the seeds and some rumours have already dropped. So let's start off first with some transfer news that's happening Currently, yes, uh, Bohemian FC have signed Hull City young defender Jevon Mills uh, for the rest of the season on a loan deal. Uh, yes, Jevon Mills, of course, the academy defender, has been playing a lot of games for the under-21s this season, has gone out on loan to the Ireland um, side over in the League of Ireland for the remainder of the season. So we will see... Um, what he can produce over there, if he can add any sort of um, good attributes to his game. Of course, Jevon Mills being uh, being in the in the whole city setup for for some time now, gone out on a few different loan periods. Uh, so we'll see what he can do over at Bohemian FC. Alongside all of that, of course, transfer window. So I'll start off with this one. Hull City, we're already in the pipeline to try and get. Maybe a loan, maybe a permanent deal. We're not too sure on what the realms of it is yet. But attention has already turned to the summer transfer window as Hull City are one of a few sides looking to pick up Manchester United's young defender, William Fish. So, of course, Fish is currently out on loan at Hibs over in Scotland um, in uh, on a loan period for the entirety of the season. Been playing quite a few minutes, got quite a bit of experience over there, becoming one of the regulars uh, for them, not only in the Scottish um, League, but also in their appearance in the Europa League before they got knocked out by Aston Villa. Um, it is expected that it will be a loan move just because he's currently out on loan there. And Manchester United, I don't think they really want to get rid of a 21-year-old defender um, to um, a rivaling club like Hull City. Um, but there is no clarification uh, whether it will be a permanent or a loan move. So it will be an interesting one to uh, to say the least because, of course, the last loan out from Manchester United that came to us uh, in the defender department was, of course, Dijon Bernard, which we kind of mistreated a little bit. And he's uh, he's uh, he's currently at Sheffield Wednesday uh, permanently after he, uh, after his career went a little bit south after... Um, after we kind of benched him, well, or Shotter benched him for the entirety of that remainder of that season. Um, so, be interesting to see if this does come off. Of course, uh, we do have some con competition for it. Uh, of course, we've got Michael Carrick's side, who Michael Carrick knows him quite well. So, that'll be an interesting one to see how that plays off. Whether he does go to someone that he um, he knows personally. I probably reckon he will do. Um, so, I just thought I'd it let you know on that one. But we'll we'll see. Of course, plenty of time before um, before the transfer window really kicks off, and of course, transfer window don't really kick off until the season properly starts up, does it? Uh, another bit of transfer out news, and that is Dave Robson has joined um, Northern Premier League side Gaines um, Trinity FC. Gainsborough Trinity FC, that is, um, for a one-month loan deal. So it's not for the remainder of the season, it's a one-month loan deal. Uh, so it'll be an interesting one there. Of course, Dave Robson uh, being one of the only um, academy goalkeepers this season that hasn't gone out on loan, but he has them now. Of course, Harvey Cartwright and uh, Timothy Lotutala being the other two that are currently out on loan at um, G Grimsby and also Doncaster Rovers, respectively. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do. Of course, he's probably not going to get a look in in the Hull City setup anytime soon with the, uh, with the, some, with the January signing of uh, Panda. So... Will be interesting to see if he can rack up some minutes here, put out some good performances, and really uh, try and boost up his price for if Hull City do eventually sell him on, or whatever happens with him if he stays in the Hull City setup. Who knows? Um, <clears throat> I thought this was a bit of an interesting one, uh, re reported um, through the Who Scored uh, ratings. Championship defenders. You'll never guess who's got the highest rating of championship defenders. Shake up bloody graves, 7.11. He comes above uh, the likes of Vestergaard, Helic, uh, Valtfais, loads of big... Well, I mean, he's, he's, the top, he's the top defender in the championship because, of course, he's coming above big names like that. He's the best defender in the championship. And that is not just me saying it in a biased opinion. That is a matter of fact. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. Uh, so before we crack onto the news about Jane and Phil Jean, one last little bit uh, that Hull City reported on today, and that is that the Tiger Trust takeover match will be the home fixture against Leicester City, and this will be our third consecutive year having the Tigers Trust takeover match. It's nice to see that the club's partnership with Tiger Trust is developing even more under Ajinal Ajali, and it's nice to see that they can get a bit of recognition in the um in the community that they rightly deserve. Oh, forgot about this one. Hull City's Disabled Supporters Association have officially got a partnership with the club. Yes, uh, there was a lot of uh, backwards and forwards, um, especially since the takeover that Adrian did um, just over two years ago between the Disabled Supporters Association um, and the club. And they have now officially got a partnership. Hull City re released a little statement um, and then they also promoted their um, meeting that the Disabled Supporters Association will have tomorrow evening, being Wednesday evening, at the MK Stadium, so you can go and check out all the information of that over at the Hall City Disabled Supporters Association on Twitter or X um, to get an up-to-date on everything if you want to uh, know a bit more about that. So, Jane Philogene, oh boy, he's going to have a busy he's going to have a busy summer window, isn't he? Certainly, certainly, if Hall City uh, do not get up to the Premier League, seems like if Hall City do not get up to the Premier League, it might be a destined for Philogene to leave, as interest is mounting up, not only from the Aston Villa buyback clause, but also Tottenham Hotspur, they seem to be the front runners at the moment, Arsenal, Crystal Palace, um, I've seen Brentford, I've seen, by, by the end of the week, it probably will be, every Premier League club will be in the pursuit for him. Uh, so as we reported back in the back end of last week, uh, Jonah Philogene's interest is mounting up, and, um, it is uh, reported by uh, Fabrizio Romano that he will um, that he is gaining a lot of interest from other clubs, not only in the Premier League but in top teams in Europe as well. So, Jonah Philogene, is his future at Hull City destined to stay, or will he depart? Who knows? Time will tell as the interest mounts up from Premier League clubs like Tottenham, Aston Villa, Arsenal. All the big hitters and plenty more to come. I'm pretty sure about that one. So let me know down in the comments what you think about Jane and Phil Jean's departure and any other things that we've discussed on in this video. Uh, make sure that you like and subscribe to stay up to date on everything Hull City. Go and follow me over on Twitter or X to get a live up to date on everything Hull City as things happen. I've also created a, a membership on the YouTube channel. Um, not really sure... Um, how it works all, um, still grasping it. So if you did want to become a, a member, £2.99 a month, you do get access to loads of b bonus features. Also supports uh, the channel, uh, but you do not have to. Completely optional. Yeah. <laughs> so make sure you like and subscribe, though, so you do not miss out on anything. And up the tigers.